What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the No Continues Gaming Channel. I'm your host, Edge Master X, coming at y'all with another cooking video. All right, so uh, what we got going on today is I'm going to be making some garlic peppered beef. So I'm I'm excited. I'm ready to get started. So let me show you what we got going on here. So I got my chuck roast right here, and then I've got garlic cloves that I'm going to be cutting up, some lemons, my black pepper, I got my soy sauce, I got my oyster sauce, and then I've got my peanuts. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting up my meat into small, thinly sliced pieces. Alright, cool. So now, it took me a quick minute, but I was able to go ahead and cut up uh, my beef here. So this is about how thin you like it. Alright, cool. So like, about like this, like, you know, just very thin. Uh, turning it around here, I got all of that cut up right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add our oyster sauce. So we're going to start here, bam, and you can kind of just put it to taste, if you will. So we're going to start adding our oyster sauce. This is kind of going to be a marinade for a small minute. So yeah, dang, I can't barely get it out. <laughs> All right, cool. Then from there, we're gonna add our soy sauce. And then next, I'm gonna start adding my lemons. Yeah, try not to get the seeds if you can. Damn it. <laughs> uh, it's no biggie, I'll be able to take them out. And then once we get that done, then we're going to start adding our black pepper. I'm using the black pepper corn grinder, but you can just use normal black pepper. It doesn't really matter. And then with all of that done, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and mix all of this together. And then we're going to marinate it and we're going to set it to the side. All right. Take a look at that. All right. So now with that done, we're going to go ahead and move on to our garlic and we're going to cut this up next. All right, so right here I got three cloves of garlic. I'm gonna go ahead and mash them down. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, bust them open. And then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut them down. Into minced, you know, you're gonna wanna mince these. All right, now that I've peeled all of my garlic, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut it up and we're gonna mince it. Let's get it. All right, so we minced up our garlic and then I also cut up an onion. So, um, you don't really have to do the onion part, but I do like onions, you guys know how I am. <laughs> so, um, after this, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my pan. I'm actually using a wok today. And then I'm going to heat up the wok. I'm gonna put some butter in there, put a little bit of oil in there. And we're actually going to cook the garlic and the onion. And we're also adding a few peanuts, yeah. All right, cool, so what I got going on right now is I got my oil and everything ready. I actually have it a little bit under high heat. So um, what's gonna happen is now I'm gonna take everything right here and I'm gonna just... Ah, there we go. All right, cool, sweet. So we're gonna take everything right here and we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the oil and we're gonna go ahead and cook this up until it gets a nice golden brown. Here we go. Now, if you're cooking this like me, uh, you wanna go ahead and start adding your peanuts here also if you added peanuts to the recipe. If not, you can just, you know, leave it out. But we're going to cook this until we get these this garlic to a nice golden brown. And then we're going to remove this out and then we're going to start moving on to our meat that's been marinating for like the last 30 to 45 minutes. All right, look at that now. Yeah, all right, so we're pretty much done cooking down the onions and the peanuts and the garlic. So what I'm about to do, I'm about to transfer it over to my container let some of the oil drain, and then we're gonna start cooking the main dish. <laughs> All right, so, bam! This is what we got left. So we got our peanuts, our onions, and our garlic been cooked. So now, we're gonna go ahead and let that sit for a little bit, and now we're gonna move on to uh, cooking the main part of the dish, which is gonna be our meat dish. So. We're gonna go ahead and get the temperature nice and hot. Just add a little bit of butter, and we're gonna go ahead and start adding this into the pan. 
You only want to take this out of the fridge when you're ready to add it in. So, just so you know. Okay, so we got our meat in here. I'm going to go ahead and try to move this around a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to let this cook and we're going to let this actually, we're going to cover it with the lid and we're going to let it kind of boil for a little bit and then we'll come back and check on it. So yeah, this will be the next part, next phase if you will. This is where if you want to add like a little bit of spicy tech to it, you could add some uh, red chili flakes. So I'll probably do, be doing a little bit of that just to, you know, give a little bit more of a kick. All right, so what I've done, I've added my red chili flakes and then I added some more oyster sauce and some more soy sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and stir this up. Then we're going to cover it with the lid and then we're going to be back once this is done cooking. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, uh, you're going to be serving this with rice. At least I am. So I got my rice in my rice cooker. So you can just eat it by itself. But, you know, rice makes it taste good. All right. So now our beef is cooked. So what we're going to do as the last step is we're going to start making our gravy. My rice is pretty much ready. Bam! <laughs> so what I did was I added uh, some water to the pan. So I just took the beef out, added water to the pan. We're going to add some all-purpose flour to, to this here in a second. And then um, we're going to stir that so that way it gets nice and thick. And then we're going to also be adding... You guys have beef powder. That works. But uh, I don't have that. So... I got beef bouillon, so um, somewhere I find it, somewhere I find it. But as soon as I get my beef bouillon, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the last part of this, and we're gonna go ahead and make. Oh, here it is. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our gravy. So we're at the last part. Let's get it. All right, that is looking good, boy. All right, cool. So I got our water. We had our flour, and then we added our beef cube. So. This is all ready to be used for this gravy. Uh, I left this ingredient out because I know not everybody's a fan, but mushrooms go really well with this. So I'm gonna be adding some mushrooms to this. And then we're going to uh, go ahead and start adding in our beef. Man, this I just taste tested this a little bit and I'm already just kind of blown away, guys. Like, this is just gonna be amazing. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and add in our beef next. All right, boom. And then we're just going to go ahead and stir this all up together. Okay. And then now we're going to start adding in our garlic and our um, peanuts and the onions. So we got that right here looks amazing too by the way I'm gonna go ahead and put these in and then we'll be right back all right now that I got everything in there I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook for a few minutes and then we'll be back with the finishing product and we're gonna go ahead and get our groove on all right y'all we're at the finished product so I went ahead and just took it out uh, or turned the stove down and I went ahead and made my plate man this joint is looking right okay like I I ain't gonna lie, I kind of ate a little bit of it. <clears throat> but anyway, uh, this was another video. It is very successful. I definitely love garlic. Uh, I love beef. I love pretty much every vegetable under the sun, onions, peanuts. And I try to do these videos once a month, as you guys know, just to you know show a little bit different things that you can cook that is gonna be good, taste great, and can be healthy. So remember, play, be, survive, do everything you can in life. Just do it with no continues. It's Edgemaster X out. Peace.